Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Shut Up and Read. Today I'll be doing my newest book haul. Before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell. And if you're new, hi, hello, I'm Stephanie. I do a bunch of content and I have a shit ton of books to go through today because they have been piling up over the past couple of months and it is getting a little out of hand and I'm like, finally, I need to do a book haul. I don't have any more shelf space for these new books. So let's just get right into it. A lot of these books I pre-ordered or I got from subscription boxes or I got from publishers. So I don't really know too much of the synopsis anymore. So we're going to go through these pretty quickly because also, like I said, I have a shit ton so let's just get right on with it the first book which by the way funny enough right when i got down to film this i got an amazon package and um they're the books i just ordered yesterday so yay for that but let's just go over all the books because i have so many the first one i just got from that amazon package is a throne of glass by sarah j mass this is obviously a book i've read before but they're doing a buy three for the price of two deal on amazon right now so all of these books are on there so i figured why not try to slowly collect them but anyways this is the first book i'm so excited i might do a reread soon we'll see the next book i got is also from that same amazon package and that is things we never got over by lucy score i've heard so many good things about this book i was very hesitant about picking this up but there's only eight dollars so i was like why the heck not and i found out that they do not have audiobooks on libby so i'm kind of annoyed by that because i was going to read on audio because that's usually how i get my non-fantasy books read these days but because there's no audio for it i'm just going to pick it up physically and see how that goes but i've heard amazing things about this series in general so i figured i'll pick up the first book and just see how it goes from there and the third book i got from that same amazon package is zodiac academy book three i just finished book two and i was super hesitant about picking up the next book but if you had watched my book Obathy Readathon, that's where I talk about the second book a lot more in detail. I just found out that they're going to finally talk about the order. The order is going to be revealed in this book. So I'm like, well, I'm already there basically. I will read this and see how it goes. I would say that this is a very heavy book and I don't know. I feel like it's such a trashy book that it should be an easy read, but for some reason it's also not an easy read, so it always takes me a while to finish it. So I don't know, but either way though, I'm really excited to just get into this book and finally find out what exactly are these sisters' orders and how powerful they are precisely, because I have questions. Then this next book I got is also from an Amazon package a couple of days ago, and that is Air Awakens by Elise Kova. I realized I have her other books, it's like Trial of Sorcerers, and then the elf king and i some they're all first book in the series and this is the first book in another series and i saw this youtube recently where this girl read this entire series and was like five stars five stars and i was like you know what i got influence let me pick it up and read it <laughs> and see i haven't read a single book from this author but i just heard so many good things about her so now i have the first book of all three of her series at least the ones i'm aware of maybe i'll do a vlog where i t read all three books and then see which one i actually like to continue or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. But all I know is that this is a fantasy and it has library apprentice, a sorcerer prince, and an unbreakable magic bond. So we'll see. I love magic. I love about a library, like books and stuff. So the next book I got is a pre-order that I made from Barnes & Noble like back in January or something. So I have no idea what this book is about, but it looked really pretty. And that is A Bright Heart by Kate Shen Li. This says, you have the fury of spirit of the sun and the bright heart of the moon. Remember that? And it says, what if you could avenge your own murder? It follows Ming Shen, who outsmarts three princes to help the man she loves become king. But she doesn't see Ren's betrayal coming, not until she's lying in a pool of her own blood on the palace steps. As she's dying, she makes a desperate plea to the gods to turn back time and give her a chance to make things right. Then she wakes up two years earlier, her prayer granted and swears two things. Ren would never become king and she would never fall in love again. But the timeline in this life has changed. A dark force is threatening her kingdom's peace and Ren's thirst for power runs deeper than she could have ever imagined. And okay, actually now I'm like, this is why it was, I pre-ordered this book. This sounds really freaking good. I'm really excited for it. Next one I got is from the publisher. It's part of the book club girls that I'm doing right now. And this is one of our bonus books. So we did not have a choice for this one. And that is Shenville by Paulette Giles. This is a book that I don't think I'll read to be quite honest. It said a novel of murder, loss, and vengeance, but this already does not scream very inviting to me. 
It says, consumed with grief, driven by vengeance, a man undertakes an unrelenting odyssey across the lawless post-Civil War frontier, seeking redemption. I don't know, we'll, we'll see about this one, guys. This next one is one that I pre-ordered from Barnes & Noble, I believe, uh, and that is Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Meniscalco. I don't know what this book is about, but obviously by Perry Maniscalco, I feel like her book gets a lot of hype in general, and it's her de adult debut, but the new standalone romantic fantasy set in the favorite- oh, it's set in the Kingdom of Wicked World, but it's adult debut. That's interesting. It's about a dark prince battling an impossible curse and the artist who might be the only one who can set him free. I am intrigued now. I have yet to read that series, but I am still intrigued. Next book I got is, I believe, from the publisher, and that is Gone Wolf by Amber McBride. This came unsolicited, so I don't know what this book is about. It says, in the future, a black girl known only as Inmate 11 is kept confined to be used as a biological match for the president's son, should he fall ill. She is known as a blue for the color of sadness. She lives in a small room for a dog who's going woof. He's pacing and imagining he's free. Inmate Eleven wants to go woof too. She wants to know what is beyond her room. In the present, Imogen lives outside Charlottesville, Virginia. The pandemic has distanced herself from everyone but her mother and her therapist. Interesting. I am like so confused right now in terms of what this book is about. I think Imogen is maybe the president's son? No? Mm, I don't know. I'm confused. Well, We'll see how this book goes, guys. All right, then this next one is are two that I actually pre-ordered, even though I read this series, but I don't actually own copies of it. And that is Strange the Dreamer Duology. So this is the first book, and this is the second book. And this is the Illumicrite edition, where they are stunning. Look at the sides. And the insides are just stunning, stunning. I am, like, so obsessed. And I want to say they're signed too, like not digitally signed, but like actually signed, yeah. Look how beautiful this is. I'm so excited, guys. I mean, I read the series already, but I don't own copies of it. So when I saw this, was out, I was like, I have to own a copy because it's probably one of my favorite series. And I need to reread these at some point. The next book I got is from Illumicrate, and that is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. This is a book that I'm really excited for. Um, this is also the same author who wrote *The Wolf and the Woodsman, if you see that right here. And she's written a lot of books since then, and they've all been amazing. I have read a single book, but this is one of her newest ones, so I'm definitely excited to read this. All I know is that this is about fairy tales, magic, it follows a girl, her name is Effie, where she's haunted by visions of the fairy king. And then it has like two rival students investigating the reclusive author's legacy. So it follows two characters, Effie, who has always believed in fairy tales and is haunted by visions of the fairy king. And then it follows a guy, his name is Preston, who is a stodgy young literature scholar. And then these two rival students end up investigating the reclusive author's legacy and discover that the house's foundation is the only thing that can be trusted. There are dark forces, both mortal and magical, conspiring against them. And the truth may bring them both to ruin. I am so intrigued by this. Also, this cover is stunning. Like, look at this. How beautiful. Anyways, then this next book I got, I think I pre-ordered from Barnes & Noble way back when, and that is This Dark Descent by Kaylin Josephson. This is the newest book by the author who wrote Storm Crow, and I really enjoyed that series. Or I really enjoyed the first book, and I think the second one was okay, but I was really excited to pick up this one. I have no idea what this book is about, but it says 100 writers, 4 races, 1 winner. And it follows a Russell family where they are famous throughout Enderland as breeders of enchanted horses, but their prestige is no match for their rising debts. To save her family's ranch, Mikira Russell is left with only one option, enter the Illinois, a treacherous cross-country horse race known as much for its high body count as its enticing prize money. And to have any chance of success, she will have to recruit Ariel Kadar, a talented but unlicensed enchanter who creates golems in the place of enchanted animals and Damien Adair, a dashing young lord in the midst of a fierce secession battle. Both have mysterious reasons to help her, as well as their own blood feuds to avenge. And it's steeped in Jewish folklore. I'm very intrigued by this book. Next one I got is from Furry Loot, and that is Bonesmith by Nikki Paul Pretto. Look at this stunning cover. I am obsessed. Like, look at this. I have no idea what the book's about, but it says... In the Dominions, the dead linger, vile and unpredictable, unless a bonesmith severs the ghost from his earthly remains. For bonesmith Wren, becoming Valkyr, a ghost-fighting warrior, is a chance to solidify her place in the noble house of bone and impress her frequently absent father. 
But when sabotage causes Ren to fail her qualifying trial, she is banished to the border wall, the last line of defense against a wasteland called the Breach with the Vicious Dead Rome unchecked. Interesting. It's supposed to be Gideon the Ninth meets Game of Thrones, the White Walkers, in this dark young adult fantasy about a disgraced ghost fighting warrior who must journey into the haunted wasteland to rescue a kidnapped prince. I can definitely see the vibe there. The next one I got is the one that I just got from Illumicrate today as well, and that is the Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. Schwab. I have the Illumicrate edition and it is stunning. Like, look at this. Anyways, this is supposed to be the spin off of Darker Shade of Magic, which I did a whole reading vlog like years ago. I'll link it above and down below in case you want to check that out. And I remember being okay. I remember liking it, but not loving it like a lot of other people did. But I really want to see for myself the continuation. So it's supposed to be set like four or seven years later. And it follows different characters, but I think there's going to be mentions of the previous characters. For example, Lila and Kel. So. I'm hoping that we we'll get more in terms of like character development and character story again, but I'm really excited for this book. The next book I got is also from Fairy Loot and it is If I Have to Be Haunted by Miranda's Son. I have no idea what this book is about. It says, I'll haunt you for the rest of your life. You wouldn't dare try me. And that's all I know. This book is also stunning. Just look at this. Inside, gorgeous like stunning. Next one I got is also from Fairy Loot, where I got a lot of Fairy Loot boxes recently. Um, and that is Son of Blood and Ruin by Marilee Lares. Lares, really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This cover is stunning. I don't know what this book is about. It says, what is this I hear about Mask Vigilante who calls herself Pantera? They say she's the finest swordsman in the new world, that she is a witch, that she will be the end of us all. Very curious. And this edition is of course stunning as per usual i expected nothing less all right then this next book i got is from a publisher unsolicited and that is Arya kana's bollywood moment by arushi abachat really hoping i pronounced that correctly and this one comes out in january 2024 it says say the date meets never have i ever in this dazzling debut rom-com i want to say this is also a young adult maybe yeah because it says home and at school so i'm assuming it's like a young adult romance next one i also got is from a publisher unsolicited and that is what are you looking for is in the library by michiko aoyama and it's supposed to come out oh it actually came out in september so i got this book a while ago so um it's supposed to be fans of the midnight library and before the coffee gets old and it's a charming japanese novel about how the perfect book recommendation can change a reader's life I agree and I love Midnight Library so I have really high hopes for this one. Alright then this next book is from the publisher Unsolicited and that is Cassio's Servant by Jacqueline Carey. I want to say this is actually like a series because it says return to the realm of Terror Dionge and the world of Koshio's Dart. So I'm assuming that this is either the first book in a spin-off series or this is like book number I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I guess I'll have to read this and find out, but the cover looks interesting. It's definitely not my normal book to read, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes. All right, then I got these two books from the publisher for my book club, and that is Just Another Missing Person by Gillian McAllister. This one is a thriller novel. And that's all I know. For some reason, we're on like a thriller kick. Like we've been picking mostly thriller books because the next one is also a thriller. And it says, heart-stopping thriller in which a missing person case unravels deeper, darker secrets that hit too close to home and can only lead to more danger for the detective and an impossible moral choice. What will she do? Very curious. And then the other thriller is Le Blonde Identity by Ali Carter. This is a book that we picked actually. And it's supposed to be, I think it's her adult debut, where it's a fast-paced, hilarious road trip rom-com about a woman with amnesia who discovers she's the identical twin sister of a rogue spy and must team up with rugged, grumpy operative to stay alive. So it's like thriller, but like rom com -y. I don't know. Next one I got is from my Goldsboro edition, and that is What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. I love this ombre right here. It is so pretty. And the inside is also just stunning as well. And this one is supposed to be In the Glittering Society of 19th Century Buenos Aires, Inez Olivera has everything except the one thing she really wants, her parents, who frequently leave her behind on their globe-trotting adventures. Then she receives a terrible letter. Her parents have passed away in mysterious circumstances. 
Determined to uncover the truth, she sets sails for their last port of call, Cairo, bringing only her sketch pad and an ancient ring that her father sent to her for safekeeping. But upon her arrival in Egypt, the ring flares with ancient magic, and she's thrust into a treacherous game that could threaten her life and into the path of her new guardian's infuriatingly handsome assistant, who seemed determined to thwart her at every turn. I'm already intrigued by that, for sure. Then this next book is one that I got on Amazon recently because I just kept seeing it like multiple times on booktube and I was like, well now I am intrigued. So I decided to pick up The Crimson Queen by Alec Hudson. I have no idea what this book is about. It's an indie book and it says, Long ago, the world fell into twilight where the great empires of old consumed each other in sorcerous cataclysms. In the south, the star towers fell, swallowed by the sea, while the black glaciers descended upon the northern Holdfast, entombing the cities of Min Seruth in ice and sorcery. Then from the ancient empire of Menachar, the paladins of Amma came, putting every surviving sorcerer to the sword and cleansing their taint from the land for the radiant glory of their lord. For a thousand years, the pulse of magic has quickened again, and in a small fishing village boy, a boy with strange powers come of age. A young queen arises in the west, fanning the long smoldering embers of magic into blaze once more. I am intrigued. I actually have no idea what this I just saw people, people recommending it and reading it that was like fantasy, let me add it and we'll see how this goes. Then this next book I got is from Fairy Loot and that is The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzon. This book is so pretty. Like look at this. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it says the Night Empire cast a long shadow over the land. Nothing can stand in the way of its might and power. Year by year, the hurricane wars take and take, and yet there is hope in that darkness. One lone light stands against the empire. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, guys. Then this next book is one that came unsolicited by the publisher, and there's Infinity Alchemist by Kaysen Callender, and it comes out in February 2024. It says, it is a hugely anticipated young adult fantasy debut from the extraordinary author of Felix Ever After, King of the Dragonflies, Queen of the Conquered, and more. Something to do about a college of alchemic science, and it is a queer romance in here, so I always love that. But yeah, we'll see how this goes, guys. I don't think this is the final cover, because this does not look like an actual cover, to be honest. All right, the next book is the last and final book for the Brandon Sanderson Kickstarter backing, and that is The Sunlit Man by Brandon Sanderson. This is a chunker as well, but it's also stunning. And the inside looks like this. I have no idea what this book is about. It says, across planets, Nomad evades the relentless brigade. Always running, he lands on the world of Santic Soul, where now he not just flees his own problems, but a lethal sunrise that melts the very stone. Finding himself embroiled in the power struggle with local factions, can he stay one step ahead of his pursuers while navigating the perils of this new world? Interesting. I don't really know what to expect, to be quite honest, but he hasn't disappointed me yet, so we'll see how this goes. This next book is one that I pre-ordered from Barnes & Noble a couple months ago, and that is The Night Hunt by Alexandra Cristo. I mostly got this book because I really enjoyed To Kill a Kingdom, but now I'm kind of like, mmm, mistakes were made, I don't know, because I just read, what was her other book? Um, Princess of Souls, and I was very disappointed by that one, and it was supposed to be a sequel or like, in the same world type of book and i did not really enjoy that one at all so now i'm kind of like will i enjoy this one i have no idea then this next book came unsolicited by the publisher and that is alone with you in the ether by olivia blake and it is obviously by the same author who wrote the alice six it's supposed to be a rom-com like a love story it's an intimate study of time space and the nature of love and it's set in chicago where two people meet in the art institute by chance Prior to their encounter, he's a doctoral student who tr manages his destructive thoughts with compulsive calculations about time travel, and she's a bipolar counterfeit artist undergoing court-ordered psychotherapy. By the end of the story, these things will still be true. But this is not a story about endings. I don't know, guys. I haven't even read The Alice Six, so I don't even know if I would like this author's writing or not, but we'll see. This next book, I think I got this from the book club pick as well, and that is The List by Yomi Adego. I am really hoping I pronounced that name correctly. So this is a debut novel about a high-profile female journalist whose world is upended when her fiance's name turns up in a viral social media post and it's supposed to be a nuanced, daring, and timely exploration of the real-world impact of online life. That is so 
realistic now <laughs> with what's going on these days so i'm actually pretty curious about this book guys i still have so many books to go through i think i'm like halfway through i'm not even sure the next one i got is from the publisher and that is a trader of red winter by ed mcdonald this came unsolicited and it's supposed to be i think the sequel to daughter of the red winter um i haven't read the first one yet so we'll see how this one goes guys <laughs> all right this next one i got is also from publisher unsolicited and that is with or without you by eric smith this one comes out actually this month actually came out yesterday november 7th and it says all's fair in love and food truck war and i want to say it's a ya romance next one also came unsolicited by this publisher and that is the hunting moon by susan dennard this is book two in the luminaries series i don't know if it's a duology or whatnot i haven't read the first one so i don't really know what this one's about but I have pretty high hopes for it because the cover is stunning. Next three books I got are from Book of the Month. The first one is Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. I want to say this is like a lawyer book again. Because she wrote another lawyer book, right? Yeah, like Miracle Creek was like a law courtroom thriller novel. And I really enjoyed that one. So I want to say this is something similar again. It's supposed to be about a biracial Korean American family whose lives are upended when their beloved father and husband goes missing. I really enjoyed her first book. Definitely can't wait to read this. Next book I got is also from Book of the Month and that is Lady Tan's Circle of Women by Lisa C. This one is supposed to be a captivating story of women helping other women and it's supposed to be a triumphant reimagining of a life of a woman who was remarkable in the Ming Dynasty and would be considered remarkable today. Definitely a historical book for sure and I have really high hopes for this one. Next book I got is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. This one is supposed to be about years ago, a reclusive mega best-selling author quit writing under mysterious circumstances. Suddenly he resurfaces with a brand new book in a one-of-a-kind competition offering a prize that would change the winner's life. Very intrigued. I was so hooked on by that tagline right there. Next book I got is from... I don't even know. Did I, make, did I purchase this? Did I get this? I don't know where I got this book from, but that is The Wall of Winnipeg and me by mariana zapata oh no i got this from the book club yeah this is one of her their like random books they sent over and all i know is that this is the same author who wrote that one book called like all roads lead to us which i never read by her really good things about and i think this is another rom-com then this next one i got is also from a publisher unsolicited and that is herc by Phonicia Rogerson. This one comes out, oh, this one came out already in September 5th, so I'm definitely late on this one. I want to say this is a mythology, like retelling. It's supposed to be, okay, it's supposed to be a retelling of the story of Hercules. And I am so intrigued. I love my retellings, especially Greek mythology. Definitely can't wait for this one. The next book I got is from Fairy Loot, and that is Forged by Blood by Ethigbor Okosan. I am really hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly. This one is stunning as per usual. Look at this edition. Like, it's always stunning. It says they took her language, her mother, and her home. They hunt her people for the blood magic that sings through them. Now Demi has their prince and no intention of letting him go there will be blood. I am definitely intrigued. Next one I got is from the publisher. It just came actually a couple days ago and it came unsolicited and that is Twice Lived by Joma West. This book comes out in February 2024 and it says torn between two families and two lives a troubled teen must come to terms with losing half their world. Oh I remember this one. This one was like super interesting because it's about like two people who are the same person they refuse to admit it but for some reason their like split psyche has forced them to shift randomly between worlds and now they have to experience their final shift and settle at last in one world so how can they prepare both families for the eventuality of them disappearing forever like that is wild to me like i'm all about this type of book so very fascinating the next one i got is obviously to support my friend madison so i got a copy of her newest book and her debut book and that is good game by madison fox I have no idea what this book is about, but she wrote it. I'm intrigued. Like, I definitely can't wait. All I know is about, like, gaming, and there's supposed to be smut in it. So, it's Madison. I have high hopes for it. We'll see how this goes, and I'll let her know my thoughts, obviously, after I read this. The next book I got is from a pre-order that I made from Barnes & Noble, like, forever ago, and that is A Multitude of Dreams by Martha Rutherford. This cover is so pretty, and... This book is basically, it says, the bloody plague is finally passed, but what fresh horror lies in its wake? And it's supposed to be about a princess, her name is Imogen of Gosland, who has lived a sheltered life for three years after she safe from the bloody plague that ravaged the kingdom. 
but she has a secret and as King Stuart descends further into madness it's at great risk of being revealed. I am so intrigued by this like what is happening? Anyways, definitely can't wait to read this book soon. Next book I got is also from a pre-order that I made a while ago, and there's A Crown of Ivy and Glass by Claire Legrand. She's the same author who wrote the Imperium trilogy, and I just finished that book as well, so I was very excited to find out that she has a new book coming out. It says, It is a fantasy romance series starter that's perfect for fans of Bridgerton and Aquatar. So, um, oh, also this is an adult debut. So I'm really intrigued by that. Next one I got is from a publisher, Unsolicited, I believe. And that is Find Him Where You Left Him Dead by Kristen Simmons. This book comes out in, oh, it came out already in September 2023. It says, Four Survivors, One Grave Mistake. It is her masterful breakout horror novel. And it follows an estranged group of friends returning to a deadly game in a nightmarish folkloric underworld to try and save the boy they thought they killed. Is this a series? Like a, a sequel? It seems like it was a sequel, in which case I need to pick up the first one maybe. Next one also came from the publisher Unsolicited and that is The Scarlet Alchemist by Kylie Lee Baker. This book came out in, oh it came out last month, October 3rd, 2023. And it's supposed to be a new YA fantasy duology and set in the alternate Tang Dynasty China where alchemy has flourished. I am so intrigued. This cover is also really stunning. The only downside is I didn't really like her Keep of the Night series. Like I read the first book and that was kind of disappointing. So I don't know about this one, but the cover is beautiful. I have high hopes for it either way. This next one is one that I got from Publisher, I think, because I don't recall this one at all. And that is Garden of the Curse by Katie Rose Poole. And it says, Since fleeing the gilded halls of Evergarden from the muck-filled canals of the marshes, Marlo Briggs has made a name for herself as the best curse breaker in Caraza City. But no matter how many cases she solves, she is still haunted by the mystery of her mother's disappearance. Interesting. I don't really know what this book is about, to be honest. Like, I literally have never heard of this book. But anyways, this is the next book I got. This next one is one that I got from Goldsboro, and that is Scarlet by Guinevere Cogman. This book is so beautiful. Like, I love this. It's also a really small book, too. Like, it's petite. And it says, One English made that the stakes have never been higher. I don't know, guys. But, oh, this is the one who wrote that um, series. The Invisible Library series. I have never read them before, but I've seen them around. And I feel like a lot of people love that series. So, I have actually pretty high hopes for this one. Next book on here is an arc that I got from the publisher, Unsolicited. Actually, I think I have this book twice and that is the sun and the void by gabriella romero la cruz because i got this book and then i also have either the lumicrate or the fairy loot edition which i will be showing later on um it says in a lush world inspired by history and folklore of south america a sweeping epic fantasy of colonialism ancient magic and two young women's quest for belonging unfolds i'm definitely curious about this one plus the cover is stunning so much time has actually passed since i started this video that is starting to get a little dark so hopefully i can finish this last two stacks very quickly and then be done with it so i'm not gonna spend too much time needed on these books but anyway the next book that i got was from the publisher unsolicited and that is wrath becomes her by aiden polydorus this book comes out well this came out on october 10th 2023 and it says it's supposed to be set in Lithuania in 1943 about a father drowns in an all-consuming grief of a daughter killed by the Nazi. He can't bring her back, but he can use Kishaf, an ancient and profane magic, to create an avenging golem in her image. Barrow was made for vengeance. She is a Jew that the Nazi cannot kill. What? Wild. I'm actually kind of intrigued now. Next book I got is from, I want to say, the publishers? And that is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. This one is supposed to be a twisty thriller about three best friends, one elite summer camp, and the dark secrets that lead to a body in the lake. I love a good YA thriller, so really intrigued. Next one I got is also a unsolicited book from the publisher, and that is Starling House by Alex E. Harrell. This book is out in, well, this was out in October 2023. And it's supposed to be a grim new tale about a small town haunted by secrets that can't stay buried in a sinister house that sits at the crossroads of it all. I did talk about this in one of my most attended releases, so I'm actually really excited I got a copy of this book. So I had a duplicate of this one, so I will need to give this away. Next book I got is from Fairy Loot and that is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. This is a stunning edition. Like this is beautiful guys. Just look at how beautiful this edition is. 
literally cannot wait it says it's a, her adult debut inspired by shakespeare's antony and cleopatra and it's a fury collision of power plays spilled blood and a romance amidst a set of deadly games i am intrigued i didn't love these violent delights series so i don't really know about this one but this is an adult fantasy so i feel like there might i might like it more i don't know we'll find out next what i got is from illumicrate they were doing some sort of sale and even though i haven't read the first book yet i was like i want to con i want to read or at least have the series so if i don't like it i can just sell it or something but that is painted devils by margaret owen this is the sequel to little thieves which i have not read yet but i got this just in case i really enjoyed it and i feel like sometimes with illumicrate it's easier to just make more purchases so shipping is not as expensive and that's how i justified this book so we'll see how this goes guys next book is also from illumicrate and that is ink blood sister scribe by emma torres this is a stunning edition as per usual like look at this stunning this is the book that i originally pre-ordered and then i decided to tag on the other one just to make shipping a little bit manageable or like makes more sense and it's supposed to be an edge of your seat thriller it's a mystery steeped in magic and dark ancient powers that will appeal to everyone who loves books libraries and an all-consuming page turning read i am so intrigued by this one i really thought this one would have a lot more hype to be honest because i feel like i read about this book and then saw it and a lot of people were hyping it up but then ever since then i haven't really heard too much about it but fourth wing which i feel like i heard about the same time like went off the charts so i don't know we'll see about this one the next one i got is also from brandon sanderson kick starter backing and this is i think her third one and that is yumi and the nightmare painter this is an interesting cover it says a person is more than their experiences stacked up like stones our best moments are the foundations we use to reach for the sky i also love the inside it is stunning uh but yeah other than that i have no idea what this book's about and this is the illuminate crate edition i mentioned earlier that i had the arc for and that is sun in the void this is probably one of my favorites edition honestly i love the black and white and the gold it is so beautiful next book i got is from the book club girl publisher and that is murder in the family by kara hunter this is the book that we picked for in a couple of months to read it's a thriller obviously and it says no one saw the killer but they all saw the body so we'll see if this goes but but this is supposed to be her american debut the next two books i got are from book of the month the first one is vampires of el norte or el nord by Isabel Canaz. I really hope I pronounced the names incorrectly. It says vampires and vaqueros face off on the Texas-Mexico border in this supernatural western. And this is by the author who wrote La Hacienda, which I have never read, but I've heard really good things about. So we'll see how this goes. Next book I got is Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo. Obviously, I had to get this. Elizabeth Acevedo is a favorite author of mine. I have no idea what this book is about, but it's by her. And it's supposed to be her adult debuts is the story of one dominican american family told through the voices of its women as they await a gathering that will forever change their lives honestly really excited for this one next book i got i think i got from goldsboro and that is house of marion or marion by jl and this cover is stunning as per usual like look at that it says good girl bad magic bury your secret or die for it paula marion has lived her entire life on the run in order to hide the deadly magic that flows through her veins she was born cursed with tushana a perilous dark magic and the sentence for having it death color me intrigued next book i got is from fairy loot and that is threads that bind by kika hatsopolo this book is interesting because i feel like for some reason it feels different than their other books but again stunning edition as per usual like always stunning it says the moria born always came in threes like the moria the goddesses of fate themselves the first was a spinner who could weave new threads the second was a drawer she could elongate or shorten a thread and the youngest was a cutter able to cut whatever thread she desired even life threads cutters were the dangerous ones i mean that makes sense but definitely intrigued by this it looks like um retelling or reimagining of the fates and i love my greek mythology so very intrigued by this one next book i got is from the book club publisher and that is she started it by sian gilbert this is a book club pick i think for i think next month maybe it's another thriller and it says the party of a lifetime is nothing like what they expected 
and these four women annabelle esther tanya and chloe are best friends or were as children they drifted apart in adulthood but shared secrets had kept them bonded for better or worse and then one day their other old friend poppy has invited them to an extravagant bachelor party three days of white sand cocktails and relaxation on a luxe private island in the bahamas none of them has booked to poppy in years but Poppy's Instagram show that the girl they used to consider the weakest link in their group has definitely made good and made money. Curiosity gets better of them, but once they get there, they find out that they've underestimated Poppy and each other. As their darkest secrets are revealed, the tropical adventure morphs into a terrifying nightmare. I am so intrigued by this book. I think this book kickstarted the thriller because once you start picking this one, all the books we picked after that were all thrillers too so we'll see how this goes next book i got is i want to say it came with my unplugged book box like when i still had it a couple months ago and that is fraternity by andy mientis this one is about a mysterious boarding school a brotherhood in the shadows and ancient evil that could tear it apart i don't really know what to expect from this one because i haven't really heard too much about it but i do love this if you can see it closely there's like this text here really cool then this next book i got is also from fairy loot i feel like at this point half of these books are from fairy loot and that is sing me to sleep by gabby burton this cover of course is stunning this edition the inside as per usual like always beautiful okay this one is featuring an all black and brown cast a forbidden romance and compulsively dark plot full of twists and it's a seductive ya fantasy perfect for fans of the cruel prince and to kill a kingdom so i really enjoyed both of those books so i have really high hopes for this one finally we are at the last book as it gets darker and darker in my apartment and that is house of roots and ruin by aaron a craig this is a book that i pre-ordered from barnes and noble a couple months ago and i want to say it's a sequel to house of salt and sorrows and i wonder if this is her long-awaited sequel i didn't know this would be a sequel but when this came out i was like wait i'm intrigued let me get this and see how it goes or maybe it's yeah it's the sisters of the salt novel so it's definitely a sequel but i want to say it follows different characters either way though i'm very intrigued anyways this is it in terms of this massive massive book haul i don't think i've had such a big haul like this in a while this might be my final book haul of the year to be honest because it's already what's well, like beginning of november but I don't anticipate getting that many books for the rest of the year as i don't think so and if i do it'd be like a couple books so i don't think it would be i don't think it will warrant an entire video so anyways let me know down below if you have read any of these books before and if you have what do you recommend for me to pick up first and as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up or would just have my channel and if you'd like to see more content of me please don't hesitate to down below as well as the notification bell and as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye